Pink Fohawk is a crass, vulgar, violent, raunchy podcast that is meant for immature adult audiences only. Content warning is available in the description. Welcome to Pink Fohawk, everybody. This is a show. Hey, thank you. Yeah. We always do that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are an actual play podcast at the Shadowrun Universe. I am Ben, the GM, and I'm here with Dan and Chris. How you guys doing? We're back, hey. everybody. We're back. We're back. We're back. Doing fucking fantastic. Fucking fade. It's good to see you, John. Hey, good to see both of you. <laughs> Tina, I gotta use Christian and John like inter- interchangeably at this point in yeah, my life. I, I use you and Tina interchangeably at this point. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. I like I like having an internet uh, facade. Yes, we all have sort of like alter egos that we tap into. It seems like you got your inner Tina, you got your inner John. I got my inner Millie. I, I don't want to say I don't want to kiss and tell too much, but like my wife Ooh. literally this morning was like, I was talking about the podcast. She's like, I really like John, <laughs> and I I don't know. And all of a sudden, I was like, Is she more sexually attracted to John? <laughs> yes. I, I had that yes. moment where I was like, I was like, maybe I need to do some role play you know what if if that's if that's your biggest problem you're good if my wife starts being more into tina than me we've got problems (laughs) right right. (laughs) true john is not that far off and and you know what i built tina to be just like the fucking dream boat in bed i feel like if my wife doesn't prefer tina over me at this point i there's something wrong with her so i mean i get i wouldn't blame her (laughs) oh man (laughs) i wouldn't blame her so uh let me uh let's get how we do this Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we do intros. Hey, Shadow Punks. My name's Dan. I play Tina Bonemere. Just a mountain of meaty <laughs> troll muscle out here looking for a friend, cracking skulls, and crushing balls. I like Tina's, the, the progression of her voice throughout this first season is just... It's all over the place, but... Uh, it's where your mood is. Sometimes she's a little more timid, and sometimes she's got that deep growl. If you listen to the Thanksgiving special or the, the holiday special, my brother-in-law texted me and was just like, were you sick when you were doing that? And I was like... Ah, I just, I, You're right. I was hammered. Just go grab one. <laughs> Sarah and I were fucking. Oh yeah, it was we like could two tell. in the afternoon on a weekday. <laughs> Sarah came over to my basement. I enjoyed knowing that you guys were both fucking wasted. Oh my god, you can count on it. When Sarah and Dan are in a room, they're fucking hammered. We are yes. wasted. They, yeah. they drink and then they create beautiful art. I'm on my way to getting hammered. I'm gonna have three beers tonight. Here we go. Hey, I'm Christian. I play John Anderson. He's a typical 80s yuppie businessman with a black belt and a keto. He used to work for one of the megacorps, and now he's out freelancing as a shadow runner. John has to pull down some serious cash to keep up with his expensive habits. I love the Chris Farley. <laughs> I did go Farley. I actually, I'm glad you picked up on that. <laughs> Let's do some shadow facts right now. <laughs> <laughs> right now. I, I, I thought I had more to say, but I didn't. All right, I got one. So where we left off last episode was uh, Leah showed up. Tina and Leia, they've got a history. Before Tina moved to Seattle, she lived in Portland for a while and she dated Leah. They, she, Leah was the love of her life. So we, we kind of covered the fact that Tina's been barbacking for Millie at the mainframe. This isn't Tina's first uh, barbacking job. Actually, back in Portland, her and Leah started up a business together. It was a bar and it was called Cocktails and Queens. And Tina was like a mixologist like you've never seen. She's flipping fucking bottles left and right. She was like the prime cocktail mixer tom cruise in, the, in the, yes in the city of portland yes she was cocktail but tina actually made a, a signature drink it was called the bitter root and it was black as the night is long mm. uh the ingredients are gin creme de violet lemon juice contro egg white and activated charcoal and it was a fucking sick drink the problem is eggs are hard to come by in 2053 and so sometimes you just got to use an old egg. Uh, <laughs> too many patrons came down with um, what's the fucking thing that salmonella? you get from salmonella? Salmonella. Too many people got salmonella. They shut the bar down. That was the beginning of the end for Tina and Leah. Oh wow! So that's kind of the backstory. There's some business baggage. Some business baggage. Some love baggage. Goddamn! Goddamn! You may first of all, just to GM discretion, you may add mixology as a knowledge skill for Tina now. Oh, that'd be sick! I'm gonna do it right now. Make it a fucking. If she's a sick mixologist, make it a. Let's make it a four. 
She's over over average. She's over. I don't know. Above. I, I want to say she was really. She was Tom Cruise good though. That's what Tom I want to say. Tom Cruise good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, can she beat Tom Cruise good? <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're like I'm not just giving that away. All right, okay, okay, okay. When we do our get together, where we all sit, we where you guys come out to Denver and we all sit around one microphone, we do our recording that, like we have planned. Uh huh. Yes. I will mix you the bitter root. I've already tested it. Of course it's you a have. Fucking sick. So you're drink. basically trying to prove that you are Tom Cruise good. Not me, or at least Tina. Tina. As I said, she's my alter ego. Like I, you taste the drink. We'll set her skill to four for now. You taste the drink, and if you if it doesn't change your mind to a six, then once again we're blurring so the be line it. between Dan and Tina. The, the fans need to know that all of his shadow effects have, are rooted in real life. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. <laughs> he killed thirteen people when he was ten years old. <laughs> they tried to kill his family. <laughs> killed him with his bare hands. Because why not? Yeah. Because why not? <laughs> because why not? What did you say? He said, "Because why not? Because why not, baby?" <laughs> I I'm love fucking it. using that. I'm I love using it. that. John, you got a shadow fact for me? So my shadow fact this week is a little bit of a reveal. Yes. That John is sort of keeping from Tina. Ooh. Okay. Tina assumes that Rory was somebody that that he knew when uh when, when John was a um like a big high roller at one of these mega corps. Yeah. But John actually knows Rory from when he was a young man when he was he was working at like an accounting firm. He was just a he was just a just a real office cubicle oh, really? stooge, if you will. Piss on. And, and he was just a piss on and, and he and Rory recognizes him from those days where he was just just a just <laughs> just and, and granted and granted Rory was, you know, the mailroom clerk like even lower, lower than <laughs> The, the John still? Yeah. But John knows Rory from the real piss on days when he was just a lowly accountant. So you guys go way, way back, but then you both, did you both like graduate up into the higher echelons of the corp together, obviously? Oh, absolutely. So John continued to rise and rise and rise to the to the very top, but he saw that progression. He knew him before he was the full confident man that he is. Okay. All right. He knows more about John than most, than John ever wants anyone to know. So John was just a lowly tax accountant <laughs> at this, uh, at this mega corp. <laughs> I love it. It's like just shift the whole per the whole thing down from what everyone yes. thought. Exactly, and then and then Rory was the mailroom clerk, and they both knew each other, and they were both maybe maybe friendly and almost on the same level. And then he shot upwards and never talked to Rory again. Did you step on him on the way up? Of course. Mm. John stepped on everyone to claw his way to the top. <laughs> Dude, this is so fucking rad. Because I've known Ben for so long, but like when I went out to visit you out in New York and met Christian, you guys worked together for so many years like that's what i'm picturing like 22 year old ben and christian <laughs> yes ben knows everything about christian and so <laughs> it's perfect that ben plays rory and rory knows everything about john i love this <laughs> if uh dan reflects his own life then uh so do i a little bit of course <laughs> i love that there's more reason for john to hate rory it's more of an embarrassment than yeah Exactly. Yep, it's perfect. I want to think that that like maybe one Thanksgiving, R Rory got invited over to Graham's <laughs> house for for like Thanksgiving. I wouldn't go Thanksgiving, but they definitely got beers together, and then the beers stopped. I don't know. I think he might know Graham. I think Rory knows Graham. <laughs> I love it. No one knows Graham. All right, you <laughs> shut up about Graham. <laughs> you keep her name out your fucking mouth. <laughs> 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 um, I love that. I wanted my shadow fact to be useful this time. I mean, John was hated the fact that a maid went into his house. There's, <laughs> yes. Here's Rory, who knew him before he actually had his life figured out, before he had oh. built the facade that is John. It's so much more embarrassing. You know <laughs> what I mean? That's what, also, I think it adds to the relationship. It's so much, so much more of an embarrassment. Mm -hmm. And why Rory thinks there's nothing wrong. But, like, he really, like, you guys are tight. Come on. Like, right. true shadow facts. Tina's a mixologist now. John has a deep history with Rory, deeper than any of us ever imagined. Absolutely. I love that. All right. Let's get into what happened. Let's get you into the world. I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm beyond ready. <laughs> <laughs> what upping each other? I'm more ready than Dan. I'm more ready than Dan. I'm more ready than Dan. I've always been more ready than Dan. <laughs> <laughs> so where we were, last session, we learned that Tina and John hadn't really spoken for the past two months. Millie, hoping to patch things, brought you both to Runnerfest, a massive festival for and by Shadowrunners. Yeah. While there, you guys went on a shopping spree and bought some weapons and supplies, and Tina dropped a fucking shit ton of cash. Yes. Millie was blown away by how much fucking money you'd scrolled away. 
Yes. <laughs> before participating in the meet and greet, a sort of speed dating event that aims to help runners meet other runners, fixers, and Johnsons. Johnsons. Right, right, right. Tina was paired with Tyrant, a troll shadow runner who we met earlier in our story during the Paladin defense run. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He even agreed to check out Tina's improv show next Tuesday night. Um, <laughs> Damn. John also hit it off with someone, a spunky elven runner who goes by the name of Lady Landline, who, after agreeing to hire John for a job, headed into a seedy bathroom where the two sealed the deal by bumping uglies. <laughs> this led to an awkward meeting with Tina afterward when it was revealed the Lady Landline is also Tina's ex-love of her life girlfriend from Portland, Leah Bradshaw. Yikes. Just when things seemed like they couldn't get any more awkward, Rory came to the rescue by apologizing profusely that he had accidentally signed you both up for the octagon and this fucking platform falls from the ceiling and gets fucking jerked by the chains that it's held up by. It's is it a platform above our heads or is it a cage around us? It's what a is cage it? but it's above your heads. It's a fucking cage fight. It, so it's, it's like a chain floor too so people yeah. might fucking be under us? Yeah. And it's Shit. up Sweet. in the sky, fucking falls down and rattles up there, and everyone's chanting. So it's extreme chanting. MMA. It's beyond MMA. Beyond. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> it's, just, it's Thunderdome. It's Thunderdome. It's the Octagon. Everyone's going, Octagon! Fuck. Octagon! Octagon! I'm okay. not ready for this. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so we're going to do a little time shift. Okay. You're both being led down a neon-lit hallway. Okay. At a steep incline. And you realize, you can see down below, you can see Runner Festival, you realize, you know, you've been led through this series of hallways and whatever, briefed yeah. on what's coming up a little bit. Yeah. And you're walking with four other people. Okay. Okay. One of them is Tyrant, which is funny. The fucking troll okay. that you just hit it off with. He's walking with you and it kind of, it's kind of awkward. He's like, Ugh. are we together? Like John and Tina are together? Are we coming in from other John, directions? John and Tina are together with the group that are going to be fighting in this octagon. Oh shit. You're all in different colored tights. Nice. <laughs> The women are in, like, singlets, like fucking unitards. Uh, and they're all different colors. Okay, got it. The men are just in tights with no fucking shirts on. Sick. And I just think it's funny that you're all wearing matching elbow pads and knee pads. And I think it's funny if you guys are wearing also, with like, a padded helmet like American Gladiators. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so they took off like all your like any armor shit that you, you have. No armor. You have no weapons. So what about cyberware and shit? Like, is it? That's like... all good. They don't deactivate anything or anything like that. Okay. It's, okay. It's, okay, it's just, okay. What you have on your body is what you have. You don't have okay. any other weapons. Tina, okay. you're in a blue fucking singlet. John is wearing orange. Tyrant is in a teal blue, like kind of greenish blue singlet. Oh, he's fighting. All these people we're walking with are fighting. There's an orc woman in a pink unitard that slinks kind of as she moves. She's kind of very, she's kind of stalking and she's kind of very slinky. She's like a spider fighter. Yeah. She, she has dark circles around her eyes and she's wearing black gloves and matching glove socks. Ooh. There's a husky human, kind of big, heavy, burly, ogreish type of human. Hardy. 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 With oily hair and a dark goatee and obvious cyber eye replacements, they look cheaply, they're not aesthetically pleasing. They just look like fucking cyber eyes just stuck in his head. Okay. And then there's an elf. And this guy, he's got a wild mane of neon blue spikes starched backwards on the top of his head. Okay. He's got mirror shades that are implanted into his forehead that kind of come down to his cheekbones. They just are flat surface of mirror shades just go from okay. forehead to nose. Sick. And he moves super gracefully like he's gliding. Okay. He's got small metal hooks per shooting outward from the skin of his shoulders. Ooh. Ooh. So how big are these hooks? Are they like big fucking giant hooks? They're little teeny tiny They're hooks. little teeny tiny like, like uh, you know, fish hooks, but not, they're like you're catching a big fucking cat. Fish. Double fish hook. Double fish so hooks. So if you like if touch you this guy, you could get fucking, get hooked. fucking hooked to you, him. You get fucking hooked. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Mr. Fishhook better hope he doesn't get hooked onto Tina, because he can't escape Tina once he's hooked onto her. Oh. His face twists into a cruel smirk when he looks at you. Ooh. And uh, you you realize you're walking up that slanted building, and and there's like sort of like this. Um, it looks like kind of like an elevator up ahead of you, and there's some guards. They look like runners. They don't look like official guards, but they're runners waiting for you guys, and they're kind of waving you over. And you hear the crowd down below. They're all fucking cheering. So this is like a burnt out high rise. Yeah, it's like toppled over and hit the other building, and is like a teepee. Like the Last of Us style. Like a Last of Us style. Yeah. You're in a place called the the bargain basement, and it's basically this shithole area. Of Redmond Barons, that's all markets, and you're at Runner Fest right now. Yeah. 
you guys are lowered down on this mine shaft elevator type thing. Yeah. It's all fucking rickety and it's all chain link and it's rusted. We're all in there together. You're all in there together, all six of you. It's you, John, Tyrant, and then this orc woman, elfin guy, and the big husky human. You're all lowered down into the fucking octagon. It's this big 75 foot in diameter octagonal cage. Nice. Fuck. This is gonna be sick. Let's do it. Swinging above the crowd below. They're all fucking screaming and throwing beer bottles up the chain link. You know, this thing's up like probably like 60, 75 feet up. Are people uh, like to the sides of us too? Are they up in the buildings? Are they above us? Like they're wherever they can get a view. But there's also huge screens posted everywhere that is okay. showing what's going on in here too. So they get, everyone can see what's happening. Okay. Sick. And as you're lowered down in the cage, you are all put in a circle. And it's like chain link, but it's the, the chain link on the floor is a little tighter. So you don't feel like you're going to fall through it or anything, you okay. know, or you're, you're not going to trip on it. It's, it's, it's yeah, a, you yeah, know, yeah. it's sturdy. But everyone below can see up through the floor, too. They can see you guys fighting up there. It's Roadhouse. They're throwing bottles at the chicken wire. I got you. You I got see you. like old crusted blood stains on the fucking flooring of this thing. Okay. Like it looks like this thing's been ridden hot and put away wet. If you know what I mean? Nice. And um, all of a sudden, this fucking massive loudspeaker booms across the entire place and the guy says can you count chummers <laughs> nice <says>, warriors rep <laughs> he says back to the overwhelmingly popular demand it's the seventh annual octagon battle royale and everyone fucking cheers and he's like you know how this works our fighters will battle in a cage fight to the death and this year we have even more surprises in store for you all what the fuck so without any further interruption let's meet our volunteers and then fucking spotlight shoots down onto the orc girl uh, and he says standing five foot four coming to us all the way from Chiba City Japan and ready to wow us with her shamanic <laughs> powers Tanuki <laughs> wow she's a five foot four orc she's a five foot four orc and she's apparently Japanese she's small but she looks kind of like fucking wily standing six foot three weighing in at 263 pounds former UCAS national wrestling champion from Des Moines Iowa he's <laughs> <laughs> He's half man, half machine, and 100% country. Latrine! And the fat guy <laughs> fucking raves, flips his arm, big fat, beefy arms up. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> The fucking spotlight shifts over to the elf. Standing 5'11, weighing in at 185 pounds, three time battle royale champion of the octagon, your favorite, Velcro! <laughs> God damn it. You fucking elf? The fucking hooker elf? He's just like leaning against the chain link. He doesn't see. I would like to submit that he might get stuck on that chain link fence right now. Okay, let me just roll for it. (laughs) (laughs) Why not? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it, dude. Fuck it and suck it, dude. Oh. Fuck it and suck it. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to roll his luck. I was just doing a target number four, two fives and two sixes. So he's shit like expertly, fuck. he knows, he's been in this he, shit he, three years in a row. He can control his hooks. Okay. He gotcha. knows He knows not to get hooked on that shit. Dude, I feel where you're going with, with Velcro here. Like, that's fucking nasty. <laughs> like, that's scary. You look at the- um, How many hooks does he- I want to visualize. How many hooks does he have on his body? He's got, he's like, kind of like, it's like Hellraiser. So he's got like, it's all over his shoulders. Over his shoulders. Let's say he's got him on his face too. Like a hundred hooks on his body. Yeah. So, uh. The spotlight shines over onto Tina, and you kind of squint. You can't really see. This spotlight fucking shines on you. <laughs> John! <laughs> John, are you out there? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I can barely see. John, what's going on? I like how we're having, we're having like a hot and uh, chewy, hot and chewy, hot and, and chewy Empire Strikes Back moment. John, I'm scared. John, uh, uh, what are we doing here? I wish I knew. Uh, so if we're looking at this in like a yeah. north, south, east, west type thing, and the northwestern corner of this thing is Tanuki. She's in the northwestern corner. Do it like a corner. clock. Do it like a yeah, clock. Like a clock yeah. at your. Uh, that's harder for me. <laughs> at your uh, uh, ten o'clock. You got Tanuki. Yes. Due north is Latrine on the northern side of this thing. Northeast, right. you got Velcro. Southeast, you got Tina Bone Meal. Tina, Tina Bone Meal. On the south, you got between John and Tina, you got Tyrant on the south edge. And then southwest okay. is John. So you're split up. You're talking past Tyrant right now. So I don't have my shock gloves on, just to be clear. You don't have your shock gloves on. Fuck. So, uh, yeah, the, the light shines right into Tina's eyes. And you see, you hear the guy kind of like the microphone kind of squeal a little bit. And you hear him go like, and let's see, uh, 
uh, uh, standing very, very tall. Uh, like, look at the ceiling above you right now. She's a foot and a half taller than that. Uh, so good at improv and just a really great lady. <laughs> Tina Bone Meal. And you kind of realize maybe Rory wrote this description of you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it just sounds like what Rory, how Rory would have maybe described Tina in a pinch. Oh, my God. And no one really knows what to do with that. Like, there's not really any clapping or anything. The light shines over on John. Standing kind of tall. Tallest guy I knew before meeting Tina. Super cool and great at business. John Anderson. <laughs> and I'm just like... Uh, like squinting like through the lights like put, shielding himself with his hand like visoring his hand just oh where am I John oh Tina and you just hear the crowds like kind of murmuring and you just hear like through the crowd just like I'm sorry guys like <laughs> way down you hear Rory like weeping he's so sorry I love it the lights all fucking turn back on everything's shining down on this fucking floor now on this in this cage the crowd starts fucking cheering, throwing more shit. Everyone's getting fucking crazy. There's thumping. There's like this bass sound thumping through the entire fucking place. You can feel it reverberating. And then all these flames blow up around the sides. Fuck. And all of a sudden, this like invisibility spell turns off. Okay. There are melee weapons on the ground. No shit. There's three knives. There's a pole arm, which is fucking medieval and crazy. It's a fucking long ass pole arm with a fucking little blade on the end of it. Yeah. There's a katana, and there's a sap. Ooh. I, I want John to try to do a forward roll and grab the katana. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to roll reaction. Are they out in the middle? Are they like in the fucking They're middle or something? They're in the middle. Okay. Yeah. It's rolling time. All right. Roll reaction. We're going to do target number four across everybody. Reaction. Target number four. Tina's got a reaction of four. Uh, two successes for Tina. Two? All right. Three successes. Oh, Johnny boy, Johnny boy. He's got quick reaction. We're going to roll Velcro. His reaction is four. Two successes. And we're going to roll Tanuki's. I tied Velcro. One success. Fuck yes. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> Tyrant has a reaction of two. Tyrant's a big slow idiot. Two successes. Oh, God Jesus damn it. Jesus Christ. So, Lachine runs for it and grabs the pole arm right away. <laughs> Fuck, so, why? And he dude, grabs the fucking pole arm. He's got it. Fuck, dude. So, oh, bitch. John, you have next move. The pole arm is in Latrine's hands right now. He's just like, oh. He grabs it. He kind of holds it and points it at both, both all you guys. John, you're so fucking quick. Those wired reflexes kick right in. Yeah, I want John to be looking like, like when he, now that he has his shirt off, like normally John, like, again, he's not a super attractive man, okay? But John, I want him to look like fucking Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse, like in terms of his body, like it, it, it's, it's, yes! it's, it's, it's facile yes! and like, and, and like, and not hugely built. But it's like, it's it's definitely a, it's a, it's a tuned weapon. I want him to do the forward roll. The smallest of pecs, but the deadliest of pecs. Yeah, like he, he never moves that quickly, but like he, he's going to do a perfect, like Steven Seagal, like just like forward flip roll and, and grab the katana and then like put the katana up like next to his head, like perfect form, <laughs> Aikido style. Like knees spread. Kendo style. Elbows wide. Right. Perfect formation. And you come up, you have a, a sheen of perfect perspiration, like a layer of film of Out sweat. Of nowhere. It, Oiled grease. It wasn't there before. <laughs> Just the movement to the katana caused the, the shit. The wired reflexes, everything. The movement, the <laughs> athletics. You look fucking oiled and ready to go. I also think it's funny if it's revealed that John is completely waxed. <laughs> <laughs> like... Like, he doesn't seem like the guy who would be... No he's, armpits. like, got a scruffy, like, hair and beard, but, like, underneath, he's completely waxed. I love like it. completely cleanly shaved armpits. Yes, I love it. Yeah, swimmer. A swimmer's body. There's going to be a penalty modifier for anyone trying to grapple John. <laughs> it's going to be harder for them. But they just slip right through, like, an eel. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, what color? John is in orange, is that right? John is in orange. Tina's in blue. Tina's in blue. Tyrant's in teal. Tanuki's in red. Tanuki. Latrine is in uh, green. Velcro's in yellow. Gotcha. Um, all right. So now, what's your reaction, Tina? It's four. Okay. So this is between you and Velcro. So it's between me and Velcro because we have the same reaction. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's Here right. we go. Here, come, here comes four. Target number four. 
I got two successes. Three successes. Two fours God. and a five. Fucking shit, dude. Velcro shit. runs forward, moves like he's got, he kind of psychs you out, and then he steps back and laughs at you as you kind of like, oh, try to go forward, and he, he doesn't grab anything. He just kind of really? stands back and fucking... Can I take two knives? <laughs> yeah, you can take two knives. <laughs> dude, I was going to do some CQC. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. I love it. So I want to take the, a sap and a knife. Tina's strength, I mean, here's the thing. Tina, you could give her a fucking paper clip. I know. If she's armed with something, she could kick some ass, so... But I, I want to do a moderate wound if I can versus a light. Uh, yeah, you grab it and move back and then uh, Tanuki kind of reaches forward and grabs like a knife after everyone's just kind of like flinching waiting for everyone can to Can I move. just say this is a crocodile Dundee knife because like Hell yeah. Bowie knife. Absolutely. It's a, it's a big old fucking Bowie knife, but Tina's 10 feet tall, so it looks like a regular knife yeah. in Tina's hands. It looks yeah. like a toothpick. And a sap that looks like the size of one of her fingers. Yeah. Everyone's looking at each other, eyeing each other. Maybe I'm just imagining you guys now kind of like circling. No. <laughs> Can I do something? Of course. Since I went in, Tina grabbed the sap and the knife, the other knife that was on the ground. Yeah. She kicked it over to John. Oh, sick. Sure. The knife rattles over next to John. Right next to his foot just comes to a stop and it just kind of like points towards John. John should like, like gracefully like put it under his foot and like, and like kick it up like a soccer player. And he like grabs it, <laughs> grabs it in his teeth like a pirate. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Fucking katana blade. Perfect formation. Knife and teeth. Yeah, never lets go of the katana. Never loses form. The crowd is actually, they're all, ooh, like you hear like gasps, like, oh. And they're all kind of like getting excited now. And all of a sudden, another invisibility spell is lifted. What? And four fucking hellhounds. Oh, shit. What the fuck, dude? These things are fucking three feet tall at the shoulder. They weigh more than a hundred. <laughs> was that the hellhound sound or was that your groan of regret? That was me thinking we're all dead. They weigh more than 240 pounds. Yikes. They're massive fucking dogs. They have fucking, they're jet black canine with red rimmed eyes. And they just, they're all like hungry looking at you. They, they really, you see the chains were holding this whole time. And all of a sudden that chains just let off. <laughs> Shit. And there's four of them in there with you right now. <laughs> fucking shit, dude. Even fucking Velcro, who this whole time acted like he understood how this whole game worked, he's like, oh shit. Dude, it is Gladiator. Let's fucking do this, John. Yeah. All right, roll me initiative, everybody. Oh, fuck. A niche. I got ideas. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yep. Ah, she rolled a one plus a four is a five. John rolled 17. Hell yes. Hellhounds are in D&D too, right? They are. Hellhounds. You're like, why did it have to be hellhounds? Why did it have to be hellhounds? All right, we're going to roll Velcro. It'd be really funny if, like, they took two survivors from the Octagon match and Tina and John both die, and then John and I just have to play the two survivors for all of the next season. Right. Um, and oh, it's man. just like, it's just Tyrant and one of the Hellhounds, and, like, that's who we are. For the- <laughs> yeah, you're now. It's going to be Turner and Hooch. Turner and <laughs> Nice. Okay. Tanuki. And then Latrine. Oh, sweet. I think I think Tina upgraded her throwing weapons this year too. I forgot, but I upgraded her unarmed combat, I upgraded her throwing weapons, and I upgraded her like baseline firearms and her charisma. So maybe she can wink at somebody in here. <laughs> She got her teeth cleaned, remember? That was the... Yeah, she got her teeth cleaned. She got her teeth cleaned. She bought some purple toothpaste, and those teeth are real white now. Nice. Uh, just so you know, going forward, so you don't try to plan the wrong way. Melee is a complex action. So every time you take a melee attack, you only get to do one your turn, not two. We were kind of messing that up earlier. Gunshots, you can do two semi-auto shots. If A melee attack is a full action. So like with a blade or a punch, it's one action. One So attack. you get to move, and then you're one complex action. But if I had a gun, I could move and then shoot somebody and then shoot somebody else. Because it's literally just pulling the trigger. You could do two of them. But I could re-aim at somebody else. That's a yes. second shot. Yep. Okay, got yep. it, got it, got it. John, yep. you're up. You get to go first. Fuck yes. Do it, John. All right. I want to attack the hellhound closest to Tina. Okay. Because that way, that way we're, we're kind of, we could be like back to back. Uh, so just to remind, just to let viewers know where these hellhounds are, there's four hellhounds. There's two okay. tucked at the very north end of this fucking cage right behind the train at the top. Gotcha. Yes, at yes. the south end, there's one on the left and one on the right. right. He ran over toward Tina toward the right side of the cage to attack that one on the bottom right. At the four o'clock. Here we go. All right. So how are you doing this, John? I want him to pig spear the dog. Like I want him to leave the blade in him. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. He'll use his Aikido. So my rating is seven. You'll use seven dice okay. and you'll be using a penalty on that against this hellhound who is also going to try to attack melee too. So we're going to do it's a like little punching this fucking sword into the dog. Got it. Okay. 
Three successes. Okay. Fuck yes! And just so you dog lovers out there know, I'm a dog lover too, but these are fucking hellhounds, so just fucking get off your pedestal for a second. Let get it off your soapbox. They're awakened creatures and they're bread to kill. Bread to kill. Bread to kill. Three successes as well. So you, st- you do your standard damage to this thing. No, my, my strength is five. I don't know if that... The katana, it's strength plus three. So five plus three, moderate wound. So he has to now roll against that. Target number is eight, and he got zero successes. You do... Fuck yes. The full moderate wound to this guy. Fuck I yeah. want to say that Tina was just turning sideways to... This hellhound was like fucking growling. I don't know if it's coming at her or not. And... All of a sudden, this fucking katana, just gleam of light, catches her eye. The fucking katana plunges into this dog, and she didn't even know John was coming. And then I want, I, I want John, like after he plunges the katana, to then like pull his arms back and do like a like a three sixty spin, and then like be in like a stance, like ready, ready to take people and flip them to the ground. He's still got the knife in his the knife in his teeth. He's unarmed now. This sword sticks right into this thing's fucking like shoulder blade and like stabs into where it's like you found a new sheath for this. This fucking thing and it's like Perfect. stuck in there and it's like <laughs> haggardly breathing at you Tina's just like thanks john jesus christ that dog's a fucking sheath john's gonna just give a, a nice wink at tina <laughs> <laughs> all right next is velcro velcro in seeing this wait, movement can tina, wait can tina and john now be standing back to back <laughs> yeah man you want to do that i want, you I want to- us to stand back to back that actually makes sense because you, yeah, you fought this hellhound behind Tina, and now you've backed up against her back. The crowd goes fucking wild. Yeah, yeah. You see Velcro; he's next to turn. He's kind of not loving the fact that you guys just kind of took the limelight a little bit. He's just like, oh. And you see him kind of he fucking these these spurs shoot out of his hands. These blades, they're hooked. What spurs? That shoot out about a foot out of his arm. So he's like Wolverine, but they're fucking yeah. hooks. And out of the tips of his toe, his feet. Like these knife fucking feet knives. Jesus Christ. And he turns and starts fucking running up the fucking chain link. He runs up the fucking wall. Oh my god. Shit. Out of the way of this fucking hellhound that's next but next Oh, it's a little creepy bastard. He's kind of letting you guys get fucked while he's just hanging out out of reach. Fucking hey. All right. And, uh, so Tina was facing Velcro while he did that. Yeah. And John is back to back with Tina facing Tyrant. Yeah. And kind of the hellhound that's still alive that you just fucking speared. Yeah. Got it. The hellhounds are next. The two hellhounds on the north end both fucking attack Latrine at like the same time. Nice. With the pole arm. They're going to roll their fucking attack against his. Ooh. Three successes against. Two successes. The fucking dog it wins the attack, and it does a bite. It's seven moderate. Fuck. He's got to roll against that with his body. His body's ample. I bet it's ample. He's a big dude. Fucking Iowa wrestling champion. No successes though. Full moderate Oof. wound. So this Second dog. One. Yeah, the the first dog fucking lashes onto a big meaty fucking <laughs> human thigh, and <laughs> it's got a fucking powerful bite on him, and he's just like, oh, and he's trying to like fucking bite it off as the other dog comes up beside him. He tries to block the next dog's bite, and it bites straight through the fucking polearm, snaps it. <laughs> no shit. And now he's getting fucking knocked down onto his back, and these two hellhounds are falling on top. Get eaten alive. <laughs> oh, watching yes. it, and you just hear him going. <laughs> <laughs> I pinch squeal. Um, okay, now double dog on the left, bottom left, starts Oof. to run over, kind of sees John moving. All this is happening kind of at the same time. John moves over, stabs the other hellhound. It's kind of tracking that movement, watches its two buddies jump onto the latrine. <laughs> it sees right in front of it, fucking Tyrant. Yes. Who's kind of just been standing there. And Tyrant looks back and goes, I owe him off on this side, right? Shit, yes. Tyrant's on our side. <laughs> wow. I knew it. I knew it. I knew Tyrant pulled through. I fucking sweet talked him during our meet and greet, man. John's just going to give him a little wink because he's still holding the blade <laughs> with between wink. his teeth. All right, so Hellhound with two successes. Tyrant. Tyrant's got to have body through the fucking roof, man. He's bigger than two. Three successes. He's at a strength of eight. So this Hellhound's got to resist. Ooh. Tina's stronger than Tyrant. I should know that, but now I know. Tina's beefy. Spindly legs, but big fucking cannonball shoulders, if you know what I mean. So the dog's got a body of two, rolling against an eight. 
Dude, this dog jumps at Tyrant and he fucking grabs its head and fucking flips it over onto its back and slams it. The whole fucking cage just fucking like jolts. He slams it so fucking hard. Fuck and this yes, thing just fucking whimpers in pain. You hear like a little crunch as he knocks it down. It's still alive. It looks like it flips up onto its fucking paws again. But it's, okay. it's kind of reeling. That he it's fucked intact. it up pretty good. Intact. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. And what about the one that's uh, that John already speared? So this one's kind of like, it's kind of looking, it's kind of frothing at the mouth. It's just got stabbed straight through. It's definitely hit some important organs. Nice. It's like not moving like it should, and it's coming right at John. Oh, shit. Okay, John. God damn. I, I know we're in combat. We can't, like, change the fucking reaction, but I wish <laughs> Tina could, like, do something. So, John, you're unarmed now. You can use your Aikido with all your combat. Alright, so here, here's my... Is it back to my turn? Well, it's dog, the dog's gonna attack you, so you get to also do your melee attack. You're gonna both attack. So, dog's attacking John. Okay. I think you're better off with Aikido, man. You can use your combat dice, too. So, you can roll seven dice plus seven dice. 14 dice. Dude, do um, that. Against a target number four. Get nasty on this fucking hound. I'm not going to roll my combat dice. I know that sounds risky, but I'm not. All right. Don't take damage, John. Oh, my God. One, two, three. Three successes. Four successes. The dog gets through. Fuck. You're kind of anticipating how it's moving, but it's moving kind of weird because the sword, and it just gets right around your hands, John, and takes chomp. It's got a seven. So roll your body versus target number seven. Ugh. Come on, John. And you can use your combat dice for this, just so you know. All right. Dude, you're getting attacked by a hellhound. Come on, man. All right, all right. But I want to save it because I'm afraid we're going to have to fight other people after this. We are, but... <laughs> I'm going to roll two so that I have six. Okay. Come on, John. Roll Do six it. dice, target number seven. Do it, John. You got this. One success. One success. One success. He doesn't stage it down, though. You, every two successes stages down the damage. Uh, so this hellhound fucking jumps out and just grabs you, John, by like your fucking arm. You, you try to catch it, it jumps right between your hands and bites down on your fucking shoulder. And it's now it's hang it's hanging on to like it's latched onto your fucking arm. You feel its jaws. Fuck this hellhound. I want him in close. What damage does it do? It does a fucking moderate to John. Fuck. That is a minus two to initiative. It's minus two to all attacks from now on. I want him in close. This is all part of John's plan. <laughs> this dog's like, Arr! it's grabbing, it's pulling on John. You can feel it, Tina, behind you. You feel it. Fucking Tina just John turns her head like, Aah! and just slow motion sees his fucking dog latch onto fucking John's gleaming shoulders. Son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Great. Now John's going to have that fucking moderate for like a year now. <laughs> <laughs> John's always wounded. <laughs> now, Latrine's turn. He is pinned down by two dogs, and he's trying to push one off. I'm just going to roll him a reaction to see if he can do that. He's able to shove one of them off. You can see he gets like a valiant push of energy, and he shoves one of them off, but the next one just grabs on him, and you just hear gurgling as this thing's fucking tearing into him now. Okay. All right. Now, Tina Bone Mill, man. Okay, you're fucking I got an idea here. She's in the middle of turning around and seeing this fucking dog latch onto John's shoulder. The katana's still sticking out of the dog that's biting onto John, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, so I want to say that Tina can just reach over and grab that fucking katana and just do a fucking upward punch that just like <laughs> just fucking clocks that katana through that dog's body and just fucking slices it in half. Slices and dices. Roll me a reaction. That's what we're gonna have you do. My reaction is lower than my quickness, so I'm Roll me a quickness, target number four versus the dogs. Alright, we're doing quickness. <laughs> oh shit. This dog's got a lot of quickness. Alright. What, what am I rolling against? <laughs> oh shit, this dog's got a lot of <laughs> It does. That was funny. Fuck this fucking hellhound. Rolling against a four, target number four. It's like latched onto John. It's focused on yeah. John. All I gotta do is grab that fucking katana handle and just fucking plunge upwards and it's gonna slice that fucking dog in half. Oh yeah. shit. It has a damage modifier too, so it's target number two. T-Nut, 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 I got two fives, bitches. It's got three successes. You, you are fuck? trying to gra It has fucking 16 quickness. Holy <laughs> fuck. But then it has to let go of John, though, right? It has to yeah, do yeah. one it or the lets other. Go, it lets go of John. 16 quickness. I thought John was quick. It's fast, man. It's a fucking battle dog. And it fucking lets go of John, and it dodges you trying to grab for this fucking... Oh, so I don't get it. I you don't, don't have it. it. But you still have your sap, and you still have your knife. So that was my movement. You can attack. I'll let you attack. Fucking A. Yeah, so she she misses the fucking katana handle, and the dog just kind of, like, swerves to the side a little bit. 
bit, but I assume the dog also let go of John's shoulder when yes. it did that. Yes. Okay. So Tina's going to come down with her fucking left hand with the sap just right through that dog's fucking forehead okay. and try to bury it into the ground. Oh, yeah. So roll me your armed and you can use your combat dice. I'm going to use all five combat dice because I'm basically at the bottom of the initiative here. So I'm going to get mine again here. Target number four. Armed combat of six and all five combat dice. Target number four. I got... Only two successes. The dog also got two successes. Okay. But that means you still got a moderate. You still got your, um, what's your damage? 12, 12 moderate wound to the dog who's already fucking fucked up from the katana. He's got to get a fucking 12. Wow. He's got, he got one six. He's going to get another six. Nope. Yes! You kill this fucking dog. Wow. I want to say I bury it through his, like, second vertebra. It doesn't even hit his forehead. It just fucking snaps the back of his neck and takes the whole fucking head off. Yes! <laughs> All right. Yeah, you just see this fucking dog just get fucking obliterated. It snapped. Its head crack. Yes. <laughs> that dog fucking just fu heavy thud smashes to the fucking chain link floor. The crowd fucking goes nuts. John feels foolish. Just blood just fucking cooling down on the crowd below, raining down right Red. Yep. By the way, that katana's fair game again. The katana's sticking out of this fucking dog. Uh, Next is Tanuki. And she is going to... After this, we refresh on combat. Exactly. John gets to go again. Oh, that's right. John gets to go twice. And Velcro and the Hellhounds get to go again. So, Tanuki, she does something kind of crazy. She casts... You fucking do. So everyone roll perception. Okay. Perception. Intelligence of three for Tina. Intelligence of three for John. <laughs> three versus four. Tina got a six. Okay. Two successes. Okay, so Tina, you see Tanuki. Tanukes. And all of a sudden she just vanishes. Fucking shit. John, something's just kind of going on where she's standing that's not quite right. The chain link's kind of dented where she's still standing, kind of. Okay. Like, you're kind of able to tell where she's at, but Tina, she's fucking gone. Where'd she go? Uh, that was her turn. So now John gets to finish this, this round. John is next. Okay, so what's happening? What's the dog situation? Refresh me on that. One dog is dead in the southeast area. The southwest tyrant just body slammed one of the other one on the southwest. Two dogs have jumped on top of the train. One is kind of finishing him off. The other one was thrown off for a second, and it's kind of getting its bearings as it's looking around the ring. Okay. Got so it. there's three dogs left. One's down by tyrant. Okay, John wants to do his crazy, like, yeah, like crazy, like run towards the, the dog that tyrant threw on the ground. Like John said <laughs> this once before where he did this battle, this like weird <laughs> battle cry. Awesome. And I want him to run and try to stab this dog in the eye with, with the knife that he has between his teeth. Since it's a knife. You know what? Fuck that. I'm going to kick this dog right in the fucking teeth if that's the case. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. I'm going to keep the knife between my mouth because who the fuck knows when I might need it. Right. I should have kicked the knife to somebody else, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So seven. Seven plus however many combat dice you want to use. I don't know how many you have left. What did I use? Two combat dice? You used two. So I have four left? Yep. I'm using all of them, baby. Do do it, because it's the end of the turn. 11. So you have 11 dice. Target number six, because you're damaged. Fucking hot dice, John. Come on, John. Zero successes. Fuck my ass. God damn it. You fucking jump kick at this thing and you miss. Ah, oh, fuck um, my ass. We're going to see if he got any successes here. He also didn't get any success. He's damaged, too. He didn't get any success. You, you both just, it's just the awkward fucking, you jump kick. And I'm it hugging kinda... him like a boxer, like just <laughs> hugging him, trying to keep him away from me. Ugh. <laughs> you're on the ropes. Yeah. And you're, you're bleeding profusely from your fucking right shoulder that dog bit you. You're like, head. from your asshole. I'm like, oh. I want Tina to say, I know we're in the middle of combat, but I feel like this is going to be a lot of combat. So Tina screams over to Tyrant. She's like, Tyrant? Yeah. She motions over to John. Protect him with your life. Hey, you got it, buddy. All right, now it's Velcro's turn. Velcro, he's climbed all the way up. Now he's hanging from the fucking ceiling, kind of surveying the room. He just saw Tanuki fucking vanish. He just saw John take a hit at this thing. Fuck yeah. And he's decided to, to stay put. He's fucking hanging out like Mel Gibson on the fucking rubber bands in Thunderdome. Nice. <laughs> yeah, basically just hanging out. He's just like up high. Just waiting it out while you guys fucking all fight down here. Oh, so. asshole fucking asshole. Now the hellhounds. The one, one of them is feasting on Latrine. He's not moving right now. He's just fucking tearing it. Latrine is giving his last death gasps as he's dying. Fuck shit. Fucking just hot air just gurgling from his fucking throat where this thing's opened it up. <laughs> <laughs> Game of tricky out of me, yeah. Damn. Uh, the other dog that was thrown off is kind of, it sees fucking Velcro up there, but all of a sudden it, let me just see what happens here. <laughs> <laughs> 
It gets fucking stabbed with a knife behind it. Out of nowhere. Fucking Tanuki. Tanooks. It's gonna roll against that. And it got no successes, so that dog just got a fucking moderate wound, just fucking blindsided, and now it is pissed. Okay. John um, used to do really well in fights, but that hasn't happened in a while. You ro- you rolled some tough rolls, that's all. I really did. Well, these hellhounds, like, have sick reaction, though. That's the problem. This is a tough one. I made this one tough. I'm so fucking pissed you couldn't grab that katana. It's the hellhound's turn. It feels it gets stabbed from the side when yeah. Tanuki fucking stabs it. Yeah. And it fucking lets up this deep, guttural roar, and a fucking steady stream of fire what? shoots out of its fucking mouth like a flamethrower. No shit. Holy shit. That fucking re- extends to the end of this fucking... Hans can do that? <laughs> yeah. It fucking fires a stream of fl- liquid flame and you just see the form of a woman on fire. All of a sudden, like, fucking ignite. Oh, shit. Because she was invisible. All of a sudden, she's fucking on fire in front of this fucking thing. <laughs> yes. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's see here. I guess it could have been worse for John. <laughs> Exactly, you didn't get fucking lit on fire. <laughs> and she just lets out a shrill fucking scream, like blood curdling scream, and she's on fire now. Fucking A. Um, fucking A indeed. Yeah, I mean, that thing just fucking, just fucking killed her. Fuck yes. She's completely on fucking fire. She's screaming and trying to, trying to put it out. You see her skin charring as she's like on fire. She's just fucking collapses down into a pile of fucking flame. Holy as fuck. As she's dying on the, on the ground. Yes. Um, and now we are going to roll initiative one more time. Ooh, yeah. Because I feel like this combat's going to be over soon. I got to do better this time because I got, I rolled a one last time. Five this time, plus a four is a nine. Nine? Nice, 18, Tina. Eighteen, motherfucker. Eighteen, John. Eighteen. <laughs> John's just like, I roll an eighteen every time. John took some damage, but like at least John and Tina are back to back, and we kind of have Tyrant. Like, that's a... that's. But how long... My question is, how long will John have this fucking damage for? A while. Velcro. So you get go to the fucking hospital, which we're going to right after this, by the way. <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs> Tina won't let John not go to the hospital this time. He's gonna fucking make it. That's the one thing is we haven't we haven't established like what a Ooh. hospital bill costs in this world. We will find out. If we win this fucking money, I, I'll pay it. Twelve oh, plus four shit. is sixteen. Velcro baby. And tyrant now is gonna roll <laughs> one plus two. A three. All right, John, you're up. Your hands are freed. You just missed your last kick at that fucking dog, but you got all your combat dice back. I'm fucking that dog up. Nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, roll your Aikido. I'm doing all of it now. Fuck it. 14 dice. Target number is going to be six. The dog is going to also fight back because it's not a fucking schlub. One success? Oh, John, baby. Uh, John is rolling dog shit tonight. Dude, dog (laughs) shit. John's about to be dog shit. Oh, man. The dog got three successes. Ah! (laughs) What does that mean? You got one success. The dog got two net successes. So it's going to stage up. John's already had a moderate wound. Are you fucking kidding me? I rolled 14 dice. This is fucking crazy. Dog gets a bite on John. Fuck. John used to be so sick. I can't believe you rolled that poorly. That's fucking God crazy. God damn it, dude. Now you're going to roll against a seven against your body. This sucks because in Shadowrun, you should be able to run away from a fight. We can't run away in the fucking octagon. <laughs> I mean, you can figure out. You can try. You can look around and see what you want. If you're trying to run. I know. <sighs> All right, so you're going to roll against a target number of seven. I got one success. Okay. Uh, yeah, you take a full fucking serious wound. God uh. damn, dude. You are seriously wounded, John. And if you look... Uh, what, a season, what a season opener. What a season opener. On his character sheet, John is one pip before deadly wound, by the way. Uh. Which would be he's out of the fight. He falls and he's dying. Uh. He is really fucked up right now. John, you try to fucking kick this dog and it grabs no. onto your fucking groin. My groin? Well, let's see. Rose roll of quickness. Wait, <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? I was going to say, it bites onto your, like, where your artery is. Like, but in your fucking leg, like in your thigh. In like, your, right like, in the meat of your fucking artery. Thigh. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, it gets a hold of that. Ugh. Really fucking starts tearing around. It throws John across the fucking floor. He hits the ground and slides. Fuck, dude. On his back, and he's fucked up. He's- <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! 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 
That was great. Uh, Tinas. We may lose John this one. I don't God know, man. Damn it! Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Velcro is next. Having seen one of the fucking dogs pre preoccupied with the fucking fire, he decides to move now. He lets go of the fucking chain link and comes right down on top of that dog that's just torched Tanuki. And he's going to attack with his spur. He's a four and unarmed. He got one, two, three, four successes. Dog's gonna fucking fight back, of course. These fucking hellhounds, dude. Dude, fuck these. You had to put fucking four in this fucking cage with us? Yeah, They're I know. They're just preying on all of us. Two successes. So he comes down with this fucking cyber spur, fuck. and uh, his strength is three. Dog's gotta roll against three. No successes. Velcro comes down in this fucking thing, does a moderate wound to it. Now, this thing is seriously wounded. It's, it's as wounded as John is. He latches onto both sides of this thing's fucking neck with the hooks. Shit. He's got his two hooks into his back on his feet and his two other hooks on his shoulders. He's riding this dog in a grotesque... He's pinned on this dog, hooked on, and he's fucking clawing at it. Hell yeah. And it's just crazy looking. Hell yeah. Next, the hellhounds. John has been thrown across the fucking room. This hellhound, now that that threw fucking John, is now turning its attention to Tyrant, right to its side. Thank God. Merciful Game Master. <laughs> Thank you, Merciful Game Master. Tyrant comes down with his fucking unarmed of five and his threat rating of four. Woo! God damn, man. Everyone's rolling shit tonight. Three successes. Dog's gonna fight back, of course. Baby, you got any dice? Target number six got zero. Three successes stages it up from a moderate to a serious wound. Serious wound on this fucking dog. Nice. Dog's gotta do his strength. His strength is eight. So dog's gotta roll against an eight versus two. No successes. The tyrant grabs his fucking dog with his hands and fucking breaks its fucking jaw open. Like, nice. he doesn't kill it, but it shatters its fucking jaw hinge. It's just, like, hanging down. He grabs it and fucking crunches it. Shit. And he's got a hold of this thing's fucking head. Other hellhound next to Velcro's got fucking Velcro on his back, and it's going to try and throw him off. No successes. It doesn't able to do it. Nice. It's fucking trying to buck him off and it's not able to do it. The one that's on the that's eating latrine now peeks up and looks at fucking Velcro on him and starts to come to help out. Oh shit, I thought he was going to look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> he doesn't see you. He's closer to Velcro. They're both in the north end of the cage. That is true. Much, much closer. He's coming for Velcro. No successes. God. That one fucking rolled dog shit, too. Hellhound shit. Bunch of fucking dog shit dogs, dog man. Dog shit dogs. Everyone down below, it's just a fucking madhouse. Everyone's slick with blood and slipping and falling and not fighting each other perfectly. God damn it. Slick with blood. The crowd, they're all fucking cheering when they see Ty uh, Tanuki get lit on fire. I mean, that's fucking awesome to watch. And now they're kind of like, Jesus, guys. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's kind of getting to that point where now we're just going to see some vicious deaths where unlucky rolls. All right, Tina, it's your turn. Oh. <laughs> okay, I had plans and now they're all fucked. All right, um, so so Velcro is riding a fucking hellhound and another hellhound just came over to Velcro to try to attack him unsuccessfully. Yep. Tyrant just ripped the fucking jaw off of a hellhound and that hellhound is dead. Mm -hmm. And there's a dead hellhound right next to me that had already been taken care of. And then John is just kind of over in the corner on the brink of death. Right. Okay, the, here's the problem. I don't know what I'm capable of doing in this situation. Tina is going to run towards John, protecting me. You're on the uh, you're on the entire other end of this cage. Yeah, by the, the way. other end of the cage. Yeah, and as she passes Tyrant, she says, "Take that fucking Velcro." She takes that knife. I don't know if she's capable of doing this, but she's got a strength <laughs> of ten, and I don't know what the knife can do to this chain link. All right. The floor, it's more almost like corrugated steel. Right. Very thick. I, I want to I wanna look Bone Meal in the, in the eye and I'm going to be like, you've never run away from a fight in your life, Bone Meal. <laughs> Love that. Get back in there. <laughs> she said, she turns to John and says, I'm not running now, John. <sighs> I can try to protect you. There's just, how how can I protect you from three dogs at once? It's like, I, want, I need to get you out of here. I mean, you're standing between them and him. I, I mean, think we can fucking do this, Dan. What do I have? I have a sap and a knife. Dan, let's give, them, let's give the people what they want. <laughs> they want a fight where we almost fucking die. I'm going to fight these guys, but I got to get you out of here. You're going to fucking die if anything tries to touch you. Like, John is If I gone. die, I die, Dan. Um, let's do this. All right. This is what I want to do. Tina gets over to John, and she kneels down, and she just says, Are you okay, John? 
You fucking hang in there, sweet boy. <laughs> I want to lift John up above my head. I am 10 feet tall. John's just a rag doll. Oh, oh. <laughs> what the fuck? What Tina? I'm imagining John by his armpits. Swings him up onto her back. <sighs> just holds him with her left hand onto her back. <sighs> so he's safe. And she takes the knife out of his teeth. And she fucking hurls it at Velcro. <laughs> throne weapons, knife. Woo! Throne weapons. All right, at Velcro. So roll your throne weapons. You can use your combat dice. Yes. You can use your combat dice. Pretty sick. Throne weapons is the three. I'm not going to get another turn this round, so I'm going to use them all. So, yeah, you're only, you're throwing a short distance. So target number is going to be four. Strength times three. One, two, three, four, five, six successes. With all those combat six guys. Successes. Holy shit, yep. man. And there are all right. there are two sixes in that. Not that it matters. He has no armor on. Yeah. All right. Six successes. He's got to roll his body against your strength. Strength is 10. No successes. Fuck yes. What's the knife damage? It's not much. Strength, light damage. Well, no, you got six successes. So you did stage up from light to moderate to serious. You did a serious wound to this Fuck fucking yes, guy. yes, dude. Yes. It fucking sticks him straight in the fucking shoulder. Right in the clavicle. And wings him and he throws him off that fucking dog onto the ground. Fuck yes! He looks surprised. Tina just fucking zeroes in. Pa-pow, pa-pow, pa-pow. <sighs> Let's it fucking fly. That knife doesn't even spin. It spirals like a fucking football. Wow. Holy shit balls. Alright. He's got a serious fucking wound. <laughs> John's too tired to even react. John just has a sigh of relief. Uh. All of his strength to lift his head up to watch it happen then drop back down. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for a D&D podcast with a dark side? Something more like Game of Thrones and less like Monty Python? Tale of the Manticore is part dark fantasy audio drama, part solo D&D RPG. There's no plot armor here. The dice make all the important decisions. Join me as I resurrect the excitement, wonder, and emotion of old school D&D. Made for a mature audience, Tale of the Manticore is both a fiction and a game. It's the story where chaos rolls. All right. In this moment, this light comes on above the fucking cage. And in another cage, half the size of this cage, falls down onto the ceiling and the floor below it opens up and allows you access to climb up inside. And this big number lights up. It says four. Okay. And four ladders, chain ladders, fall down. What? And the announcer speaks up. He goes, oh, surprise number two for tonight, folks. Only four contestants can pass on to the next stage of this battle royale. What? What? Four ladders come down. They're like chain ladders. They're fucking like rattling. They fall down. They're about maybe like five feet off the floor. And you can climb up into this next chamber up on top of this fucking cage. To continue fighting. To continue fighting. Now, you can lift John up to start climbing, get him out of this one. So, so... Okay. I'm trying to wrap my head around that narrative. Okay. You see on the wall, the chain link up in that next chamber, you see two boxes with a health medical cross on them. Okay. And the crowd's fucking cheering and screaming, going crazier now. And you see- We're gonna have to kill Velcro. We're gonna have to use Tyrant. We're gonna have to kill these dogs in Velcro. I think you need to kill that fucking dog. Looks like you can climb up into the next chamber now. Well, it depends. Can the dogs get up there? All that You see all the crowds start to step out so they can get a better view of what's going on higher up. Yeah. Tyrant, now the dog's trying to get past him to get at John and Tina. He got three successes on this fucking dog. The dog got- Two successes, he still wins. And he grabs on, you see his fingers disappear into its fucking eye sockets as he's holding the thing back. Fuck yes. Shit. And it's just bleeding from its eyes and whining and screaming. It's almost dead, but it's not dead just yet. He's holding it back. And he starts yelling, he goes, Get to the ladder! Get to the ladder, Tina! I'll hold on to it! I'm going, Tarrant! I'm going! John, you're up. And you can move, you're not dead. You, you can move. You're just very fucking injured. Spitting up blood. You're on I mean, Tina's have, back right now. Wait, I'm on her back? But it's John's turn. So, like, that ladder's there. If you can get to that ladder from where I am, John, to, like, fucking go well, up. I mean, I have to. I have no other choice. I can't fight. All right, John, roll me a quickness. The target number is going to be seven. But what's it affected by by his serious wound? That's, that's including the modifier. That's the yeah. seven. Okay. You're going to be okay, John. 
One. One success. One oh. success! John, your hands are slick with blood and your own perspiration as you fucking grab on and pull yourself up this fucking chain link ladder and everyone's fucking screaming. The whole crowd is spreading out away from this fucking base so they can watch you climb up this fucking chain link and you make it all the way up into the next fucking chamber. Grab on to the fucking corrugated steel floor of that fucking chamber and pull yourself up into it. Jesus. There's a health pack right there. Tina just sees John slip over the edge in the next chamber and just little smirk cracks in the side of her mouth. <laughs> Vid is Velcro's turn. Velcro just took a fucking knife to the shoulder. He's thrown to the floor. He gets back up and he sees Tina. He knows you threw that fucking knife at him. He sees the ladder. He's about to fucking go at you. He's got these two dogs he's dealing with, but then he sees a ladder fall down right in front of him and he jumps onto the fucking ladder and starts pulling himself up. Oh, that little bastard. Fucking Velcro, dude. Opportunistic motherfucker. I'm gonna roll his quickness. Target number. He's also fucking very injured. Target number seven. I'm surprised the ladder dropped before we killed everything. Does he have a dog hanging off of him right now, though? I mean... One success... No, because he got knocked up. He was on the dog. You hit him with the fucking knife. He flew off. Okay, I just didn't know if a dog was bitten onto him or not. One success. Equally, it's so painful to watch him fucking try to climb up this fucking ladder, but he makes it up, and he's fucking not able to do anything once he's up there. He's also exhausted by the time he gets up into the chamber. He's yeah. You and jo John and Velcro are laying on their fucking backs in the second chamber just gasping for breath. Ugh. It is the hellhound's turn. Yeah, that hell this hellhound here, he tries to bite Tyra. Oh, the hellhound is like almost fucking blinded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 He got no successes. No successes. His target number so high right now. Here, let me see. Tyrant. Let's see if he got to fucking hit him. Tyrant. His target number is actually... Two successes. Yeah, Tyrant fucking Fuck finishes yes. this thing off. He fucking just breaks its neck fully around. And it's not even his turn. He just kills this fucking dog. The other dogs are fucking snapping up at fucking Velcro as he gets away. But he is up in the next chamber now. They turn their attention at you, Tina. Ooh. They both run at you. Bring them on, dude. No, Tina. Bone meal. Bring them on. All right, let's see. Target number is going to be seven. Give it to me. One success on one of them. Two successes on the other one. They're meleeing, so you get to actually attack them too. Okay. I use my combat. Okay. So you so can roll, roll your armed combat two times. Target number is going to be four. Okay. Armed combat is a six for Tina. Rolling it once, and the target is four. Yep. She got a six, a four, and a five. That's three successes on three one. Three successes. So you got two net successes over dog one. Dog two. Here it comes. Shit. Tina. A five and a six. So you got you tied with the successes of the second dog, and so he gets an attack on you. But the first one comes at you. It's a little slower. You're able to fucking grab it when it fucking comes at you. What do you do? I don't know if I can do this, but I want to grab it and throw it at the other fucking dog. That's what I want to do. Yes. I love it. All right. That's awesome. I, All right. It's just like, it's fucking rabbit, just like Jaws chomping, and she fucking turns it around and throws it, Jaws chomping at the other fucking dog coming at her. He's going to roll his body against your strength. Jesus Christ. No successes. You just hear the sound of help! Of, yeah, like just fucking hollow fucking thud as their skulls smack. Fuck it's yes! Fucking head smacks another and just kills it dead. Yes. The other one takes a light wound. I say. just want to say she bitch slapped that dog down, just backhanded it, just fucking slapped it back at this dog number two. Didn't even fucking burn a calorie. Yeah, dog number two gets a bite on you though. Fuck. Roll your body against uh, target number seven. Body against seven. Tina's got a body of ten, y'all. A nice thick body. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's six. Me. Come on, fan art. Nice thick thighs. You know what I'm talking about. Yep. Oh, I do know what you're talking about. Holy shit. One six, two six, three six. Automatic seven. You staged his bite down to a light wound. So you only take a light wound. I could take a light wound. Is that a light stun wound or a light physical wound? Uh, light physical. Okay. All right, guys. Roll an initiative again. Okay. For just to the bottom tier here. Just the bottom tier. So that's just Tina. Tina's got one dice. She rolled a three plus a four is a seven. Who's left? Uh, I guess just Tyrant and this dog. Woo. What's going on in the crowd, man? What's going on around us? Like crowd is all spread out. They're now st they're all further back, so they can see John and Velcro up in that second tower. But they erupt when they see you fucking smack down and kill that dog. They're kind of bored with the dogs now. They kind of are looking up at the top. Fucking, they're kind of done with this first tier now. They want to see what's going to happen in the second tier. Shit. Okay, Tyrant. Now he gets to go. One d six. 
Six, seven, nice. So the crowd isn't mad that John got away. No, no, that's the plan. They're supposed to progress into this like wedding cake thing, basically. They're going up into this next. I love that there's health packs in Shadowrun. I didn't even fucking know that. Like, is yeah, John man. gonna fully heal? Like, John's gonna fucking murder. He's gonna get a stim patch. John's gonna fucking murder Velcro. Hopefully. I gotta say, John's been humbled. He's been humbled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Dog's got a 10. Ah. That shit, that noise that Dan just made should be used as like a tea that like throw, throwing John. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like. <sighs> now, here's what we're going to do. Now, Shadowrun has some interesting melee rules that I haven't been using. But you get to actually subtract from your target number for every person you have helping you in, in melee. Oh, really? So now that you're two on one, I'm going to allow the rules here. I should have done it earlier, but I didn't. So this dog, Hellhound gets to go first. Initiative is 10. It's going to attack Tina. Okay. It just got it, what its buddy just smacked its head. Jesus. <laughs> got a light wound. Killed the dog with its own head on accident. It's now coming at you. Takes a fucking big bite at Tina. Fuck. Big hearty bite. She's a hearty <laughs> meal. <laughs> she certainly is. His target number is going to be five because of his damage modifier, plus one because of Tyrant. So his target number is six. He got two successes. Tina, your target number is going to be three. Oh, no, four because you have a damage modifier too. You're rolling your armed combat. So however many dice, and you, I think you have all your combat dice. Yeah, I you have, do. I have a six for armed combat plus combat dice, and I'm not too worried right now other than just to fucking stay alive. Yep. So six plus five. Eleven. Target number what? Four. I like hearing those dice. Not as many as you would think. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> a five, a five, a four, and a four. That's four successes. You got two successes. You still nice. won. Oh, you got to yeah. stage up serious wound. He's got to go against your strength yeah. with his body. Your strength is 10. He got no successes. You got to do a fucking serious wound to this fucking thing. Fuck yes. Fucked itself up. It chikes a bite at you and you On just- On my dermal fucking plating and it fucking breaks its, all its fucking teeth just fucking shatter yes. against my forearm. <laughs> yeah. It just bites at a weird joint in your fucking dermal plating. And, and just, just flex my fucking forearm and it <laughs> shatters all the <laughs> fucking teeth in that hellhound. Can I, can I say that this moment- is it's having an effect on John. He's looking at he's looking down at her. He's his Tina. That's right. Yeah, he's his Tina. His Tina. <laughs> yeah, you can see through the fucking like floor. You can see what's happening down there too. And you see that she's fucking John fighting sees these this dogs. hellhound latch onto Tina's forearm and hangs yeah. there for like four seconds, and then her forearm just fucking flexes and his jaw fucking explodes. Oh shit. Like a mosquito that bitch you. Yeah, like I like latched it on because it's it's like Biter got stuck, mm -hmm. and she fucking blows his fucking jaw open with her dermal plate. Oh, this dog shit. is really blood's flow, like just pouring out of its mouth. All of its teeth it's like are blown brains out. Brains down on the crowd below, just splattering. Tyrant's like, hell yeah, bad, bad. It'd be awesome if the dog tried to like blow fire, and Tina just like clamps its mouth shut and it fucking like explodes. <laughs> <laughs> blows up. The fire goes out its asshole. <laughs> just, <laughs> oh yeah. <yes. laughs> <laughs> fucking melts and cauterizes this asshole. That would be awesome. <laughs> We're keeping all this in. That is a fucking hilarious joke. That's fucking joke. great, dude. That's fucking great. <laughs> it's now Tina's turn. Oh, it's my turn now. Yeah. Is it just me and Tyrant now living in the lower level? Tyrant gives you like a fucking troll fucking like headbutt. Fuck yeah. I'll see you Tuesday. You can bet on it. Tina hasn't felt this alive since the fucking Bitterroot cleanse when she fucking killed 13 fucking rangers barehanded. She just looks at Tyrant fucking winks at him. There's a fucking smoldering flaming corpse on the fucking ground. There's a torn in half dog. There's three other dog corpses. There's Lat Latrine who's just fucking splayed out ribcage open who's been torn to pieces. John and Velcro or just up there exhausted laying on the fucking floor and now these chain link fences and Tyrant's like let's go up and he starts to fucking climb up this fucking chain link uh, uh, ladder up to the next chamber and Tina just nods and she starts climbing up her own the no floor. wait no wait Tina just nods she doesn't climb the fucking ladder she vertical leaps <laughs> up into the next chamber <laughs> it's 20 feet <laughs> She's jumped she's jumped eight feet before. <laughs> she's ten feet tall and she's got a she's, she's nine and a half. She's nine and a half. I'll say Dan this. Dan said that he could jump eight feet in the room. I want to see how high she can jump. She's gonna if she's, she's Mugsy Bogues. She's gonna she's, jump up and grab the ladder as high as she can, or she's going to fucking okay. vertical leap into the next tier. Roll me quickness. All right. Target number is Quick, going quickness to quickness or be. strength. Quickness or strength. Quickness. Okay. 
Target number is going to be nine. Actually, it's going to be ten because you're wounded. Okay. Too. It was an extreme okay. thing. Now it's nearly impossible with your wound. Target is ten. Quickness is five. Your Muggsy Bogues trying to dunk on a ten foot hoop at five. Foot I got four. two sixes. I got two sixes. I got two sixes. I get to reroll. I gotta get a five. Wait. So you could climb a ladder, but you're doing this for what reason? <laughs> I got two more sixes. Wow. I got two more sixes. <laughs> Tina, you do like a basketball like. Like like scrimmage dunk. Yeah, this is like, like this three is like steps. this is like Ripley and like in horrible aliens movie where she's playing basketball and she's dunking on them. <laughs> wait, wait, I got I gotta roll these again. I gotta see how high I can go. And I got a four and a one. I got a four and a one. Tina's doing like a little bounce to her step. She takes three steps. Jumps. Tina gets a sixteen. A sixteen, folks. Oh my a god, I love it. Eleven foot little ten and a half foot vertical. I love it. <laughs> Arms split out. Catches the edge of that second fucking platform. Is able to fucking pull herself up. You beat Tyre up as he's climbing the fucking thing. He's like, yeah. I wanted to jump through and fucking land on her feet. I wanted to clear the second oh. tier. Come on, man. <laughs> no I way. I 16. <laughs> you jump 20 feet and land on your feet. <laughs> you catch it and pull yourself up. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Which is still crazy. You just jumped Sick. up 20 feet. And pulled yourself up, which gives me, I got to remember that next time. Jesus fucking Christ. That's insane. That's a, that's a pretty high jump. That's an insane. As soon as you get up there, floor Woo. closes up, two ladders fall down. Big number two. Wow. You take it, it takes a big number two. <laughs> Only two survivors allowed into the next chamber and a small chamber falls down. What? Can people make a move for that at any time, or is it just like they got to fight? Velcro here? starts to try to get up. He's seriously wounded, like John is. He runs over to the health pack thing. Shit. What do you do, John? Obviously, I need to get to that health pack first. Well, there's two health packs, right? Yeah. So I could grab another health pack, or I could fight him. Yeah. I'm going to just run for the health pack. I'm not going to be a hero tonight. You got to get that health pack. You open this up. You find a uh, trauma patch, rating level four. You slap this thing on. It takes four boxes off your damage. That's good. You're moderately wounded now, John. You're almost serious. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm still fucking fucked. So is Velcro. Does Velcro get one, too? He, got, he grabbed one, too. Now the three of you are looking at each other, and there's two ladders. And Tyrant is looks like his heart just broke. I have a question, though. If two people ran up to the next tier immediately, what happens to the two that are left over before they fight? Do they just die? Oh, let me they... answer that question. As soon as the four closed up on this, this second tier, the bottom tier chains let go, and the whole bottom platform just fell fucking 65 feet and Fuck. explodes onto the ground. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> like fucking Mortal Kombat. I forgot about that part. Yeah. The what? bottom, the bottom layer of the cake just drops and explodes on the ground. Like just parts and fucking shit fly everywhere, and yeah. the crowd's going, "Yeah!" Like fucking so there's screaming. No fucking friends left at this point, then. No. Yes. Shit. Velcro, you rolled initiative seventeen, John. Yes. Velcro is gonna roll his initiative. Tina, roll me initiative. Okay. Tyrant's gonna roll initiative. Good God, dude, this is fucking hardcore. You're not fucking pulling any punches. I'm not fucking around. Season two, bitch. Good God. <laughs> Ah, Tina, roll a one! <laughs> ah. Oh, Velcro fucking one blew it, man. One plus a four is a five. Three plus four, seven. Oh, Velcro. Velcro, Velcro, Velcro. Seven. I hope John saves the fucking day, man. Tyrant rolled a five. John, you're up. You just took a slap patch. Velcro's looking at you. He looks like he's about to fucking fight dirty real quick. He thinks he can maybe beat you. I, I'm, I'm going I'm going at him with everything I've fucking got, dude. John, get safe. <laughs> Go up the ladder, John. Go up the fucking ladder. Get safe. I love this. Oh, fuck him. John, uh, yeah, attack him. What are you, you going to attack? You going to do your keto skill on yeah, him? Yeah, damn right I am with all my fucking combat dice. Get safe, John. Get up the fucking ladder. I'm not a fucking pussy. Velcro's still got his fucking spurs out, his hooked spurs. He's going to roll his unarmed of five. All right, I have five combat dice? Yeah. Target number is going to be six for John. All right. One success? Are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit, dude. Velcro also has one success. You get one on him. Unarmed is strength moderate. Uh, he's going to roll his body against your strength. What was your strength again? Five. Five. One success. Uh, he's not able to stage it down. You do a moderate wound to him. Fuck which yes. Which brings him back 
two. Serious. Almost deadly. Yeah, he's at serious again. Nice. Oh, you're both kind of squaring off. You just fucking landed a moderate wound on him with your fucking Aikido. It doesn't kill him, but it fucking fucks him up really bad. He's almost dead. What's your Aikido move? I want to know it. I mean, people are going to debate whether this is Aikido or not, but I'm just going <laughs> to I'm just gonna go up. I'm running. When in doubt, what would Steven Seagal do? I think that's what we all ask ourselves with Aikido. If you're going to ask me what Steven Seagal would do, I'm going to run up and I'm just going to take one of my arms and I'm going to grab him right in the center of the chest and just like swing him and knock him right on the ground. <laughs> yeah, the classic. That's what Steven Seagal would do. That's what Seagal that's would do. That's Aikido, my friends. I was going to kick Kido. him in the teeth, but if you're asking me what Seagal would do, it, that's what he would do. <laughs> <laughs> swing him as if he's someone that's placating him. Like, okay, I'll attack you just at the sparring. Yeah, let him, yeah exactly. <laughs> and then smashes him as hard as he can. Dude, okay, I want to <laughs> submit something. Every time Velcro gets slammed into a, a metal feature, he should have to roll for whether or not he gets fucking stuck. For the That's hooks. what I want to say. All right. Oh, this is definitely going to fuck him up. He got fucked. He got slammed down on his head. His whole body's above him. He falls right on his neck if he falls nice. down. And it fucks him up pretty and good. And how many of those fucking hooks got stuck in the metal? <laughs> he rolled two successes. He got zero hooked to the metal. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> it is now Velcro's turn. Instead of attacking John, he just jumps up and grabs onto the fucking ladder. And he starts to pull himself into the next chamber. Oh, really? He's like got his, his arms into the next chamber. He's not pulled himself all the way in yet. And you see the number go blink to one. Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. What? He made it? Jesus. John's going to be like, you fucking slippery fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It is now Tina's turn. Tina's going to fucking launch herself again towards Velcro. <laughs> She's just going to fucking try to do another vertical leap at a vector towards fucking Velcro and just fucking either plow through him, <laughs> grab him, do whatever she can. Can she get to him? That's my that's All my right. question. Target number is going to be eight. Eight. It's a difficult jump, but with your damage modifier, it's an eight. Second vertical in a row. So what's she rolling? Quickness? Strength? What is it? Uh, sorry, quickness. Quickness. Uh, five dice. Oh, five do, dice. Target number eight. Can I count this as an attack? What do I? What do I call this? Tell me how you do it. You well, want to attack I, him? I think she wants to like barrel through his body and destroy him. That, like that's what she's gonna do. Barrel through his body. This is what I call a Tina tank move. She's just gonna f try to fucking bulldoze this guy. I, I'm not gonna let you use your combat dice. You you are you can grab if you get onto him. You can tell me what you do with him, but you're not gonna use your combat dice. It's just a jump. You're not okay. attacking, you're jumping. Okay, so, so quick quickness six. Or quickness quick of your, your quickness. Target number is eight. Eight, okay. Any sixes? One six. Roll that six. Okay. Roll that six, you gotta get a two. Come on, six. Come on, six. A six! Yes! Holy shit! Fuck yes! yes. You jump up and you Fuck just fucking yes. grab this dude by the nape of his neck. Like, you just catch him as he's up she there. She soars through the fucking air, just airborne. <laughs> Michael Jordan's out that big fucking troll forearm. Yes. Grabs onto the nape of his neck and... You rip him down as you rip him down, his face smacks the ledge of that fucking thing and shatters the fucking mirror shades on his face. <laughs> and he comes all the way down. You just, you just throw him down like a fucking gorilla. Just like spike him into the ground. Fucking throw him down to the chain link floor below us and just like... just rings out around he the crowd. He smashes into the ground, and he's not moving. Yes. At arms at unnatural angles. He is smashed like a fucking bug. Yes. <laughs> On the ground. <laughs> All right. Where's John, by the way? Is John, John just did an Aikido defensive Aikido. Perfect move. Sagal would have been happy. That knocked Velcro down. He but was, then he slipped away. And then you just caught him, right? He was getting up to the top. Smash him down. And now Tyrant's gonna move. He sees you killed Velcro, and he says, uh, <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and he starts to <laughs> climb up the ladder. He starts climbing up to the top. Shit. He go. <laughs> What'd he get? He got snake eyes. Yes! Okay. He that is a slipped. critical glitch. Oh, well, yes. He slips down and falls prone under the floor. I'm gonna give him a light stun when he just smacked his face on this thing. His, his snake eyes, I mean, that's bad. He should get hurt. Okay. Falls down off the fucking platform and starts falling down into the fucking cage below. Thuds. Super fucking loud. This guy's 10 feet tall. Fucking smashes this fucking thing. The whole thing swings as he hits the ground next to you, Tina. So John's next. John's next. Guy's gonna fucking stop him. I thought, I thought for a second I I was gonna have to fight Tina to the death. Well, if we both get to the next tier, we do. But th we gotta live to that round. You can do what you need now. Your action, you can do whatever. All I need to do is fucking climb above him. 
I just need to get above him. All right. Give me some uh, quickness. Quickness? Yep. Target number is going to be five. Um, like, I wish I had oh, been... Oh, fucking... I wish I had been reacting. Piece of cake. It's because John's hurt, man. One success. One success. You climb up and get up into the next fucking chamber. John's up. He's clear. Perfect. Yep. John's safe. It's now your turn, Tina. Tina walks up to Tyrant and just fucking sorrowful look in her eyes. Because, like, he was fucking there for them, man. And she reaches out a hand for him. He takes it. And she wants to roll some charisma. Okay, roll your charisma. She wants to roll three charisma. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I just want to see if he trusts me. Oh, boy. <laughs> What's his willpower? It's five. Target number's going to be five, actually. Target number five? Yeah. Tina rolled a one, a three, and a six. So he, grabs, whatever, he trusts, he takes the hand. He takes my hand and she just says, thank you. <laughs> thank you for keeping him safe. And with her other hand, she takes the uh, the fucking sap and she just takes a fucking left hook, Sylvester Stallone style, and tries to clear off his fucking head. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jesus. roll me your arm. All right, arms attack for Tina is a uh, six, six dice, and she gets all her combat six. dice here. So yep. she's going to roll an extra five. She's going to roll 11 dice. Target number five. Target number five, 11 dice for Tina. Armed sap attack. Uh, a five, a six, a five. Three successes. He got one success. You got two net successes. Your strength, yep. he's got to roll against that with his body of 11. Woo! Yep. Whoa, he got three sixes. Fuck! He's got to go for fours. Two successes. Fuck! Uh, so he stages your thing down from moderate to a light. So you fucking clock him, and he just looks at you like shattered, like hurt. It, it didn't like hurt him physically as much as what you just did did. Jeez. I should have climbed the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's John's turn. Now it's Tyrant's turn. Yeah. He is just so fucking hurt. And he just goes... <laughs> I'm watching Chris's face. He didn't react. Not at all. At all. I'm waiting to see what this means. Two successes. He just attacked at a Tina. Tina, now you're going to roll your melee. Roll okay. your armed against him. My armed? Yep. Target number okay. five. Uh, six, and I have no combat dice left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here it comes. I'm waiting to see. I, I just need to know if John's going to survive. I'm not even. What did I? What am I? What's my target? Uh, five. Oh boy. No fives. Oh wow. Uh, roll your body. Target number is four. Body of ten. Holy shit! I rolled ten dice and got no fours. Oh wow. wow. Yeah, he fucking smacks a fucking moderate wound on you, Tina. Fuck, dude. Ah, I got cute. I got fucking cute. I got fucking cute. Damn it. God damn it. Tina, you have a moderate wound. And he's only at a light. God damn it. Some bitch. All right. John, you're up there watching this I, fucking... I knew it. I was quiet. I didn't know how this was going to end, man. All right. Tr Roll initiative. I, tr ah, I tried to finish it. <laughs> four plus two, six. Tyrant got six. Actually, four because of his damage. Do you remember your damage modifiers for initiative, people? 20. Fuck yeah. Holy shit. Got 20. <sighs> 20. Yeah, John, tw minus two, so 18 because of your um, damage. Uh, I rolled a two plus a four is a six, but I have a moderate wound. So minus two. I have a four. Tina's got a four. So where is Tyrant now? Tyrant's on the floor. Tyrant's down on the bottom with Tina. Okay. I just hit him in the fucking head. All right, John, you're up. I'm going to get back down there and fuck that tyrant of the face. Fuck him up, John. No, fucking fuck the... him up, John. John. 12 John. dice. John. I'm going to fucking jump. I'm jumping down with my full weight doing a flying fucking butterfly kick. Like fucking <laughs> just kicking <Yes>. him. <laughs> Roll your Aikido with all. Oh, that, well, you have all your combat dice again. 12 dice. Target. All right. 12 dice. Target number is going to be for John. It's going to be a six. Okay. For him, it's going to be a five. He got one success. What'd you get? Four successes. Suck my dick. Okay, he's gonna roll his Fuck body. Yes, John. Come on, John. Versus your strength. Oh, that was a lot Which of dice. Your strength is five, right? He only got two successes, so he only staged that down to one. You have one net success. You still do a moderate wound to him. You fucking jump down and crack this dude. You're, I mean, he's tough, man. He's rolled eleven dice to soak that damage, but you've surprised him. John just comes down like out of nowhere and just fucking kicks I, I want, this dude. Like he's looking up. 
and it's like blackness above him, and then John just all of a sudden comes into fades into view, like Batman. Yeah. What's John's damage right now? Like what? How we damaged is John? Yeah. Moderately wounded. He's not seriously wounded. He's moderately so wounded. He and I are both moder- moderately wounded. Okay. Yep. And now Tyrant is too. Okay. Fair fight. John just jumps down and kicks this dude right in the fucking face. And um, you hear his nose break. Yes. But he's still alive. Fuck. He seems still aware. He's just getting pissed. Like, you guys are kicking his ass now. It's Tina's turn. Fuck. Dude. Gosh. It, the, the turns don't work right here. That's what, what I want to fucking do here. Um, But now, you get a bonus because you're both mailing this guy. Yes. All right. Friends in um, melee. Uh, Tina's gonna fucking dive over, and what she's gonna do is, and I know she's got a sap, and I know that's more dice, but this is cooler. She's gonna do, she's gonna just jump on top of fucking Tyrant, and she's going to do like an MMA, like an arm bar. Nice. But not his arm. It's on his fucking neck. She's going to wrap her forearm around his jaw yeah. and her fucking thighs and calves around <laughs> his, his fucking torso. And she's Zena on a top. Pulling his fucking head back. And she's going to try to do as much damage as she can. She's going to try to break his back. But if nothing else, it's a grapple setting him up for John. So All she's right. going to fucking try and like snap his spine with not an arm bar, but a fucking a neck, neck bar. A neck bar. Yeah. Unarmed skill of three with yep. all your combat dice. Yep. So that's a unarmed of three plus plus only another three, right? Yep. Because I can only roll up to the skill I'm using. So that's six dice. Yep. Here it comes. He's going to roll his unarmed against you. Six. Is more dice. Oh. Uh, your target number is four plus two, six minus one, because John's in so five. Oh, and I have a moderate wound as well. I already took that into account. Okay. I rolled I rolled two sixes. He got two successes. I got two successes. All right, so you could succeed. Um he's gonna roll his body versus your strength. Which is a fucking ten. Ooh, two sixes. One success, so he doesn't actually stage it down any. So yeah, you do a fucking moderate wound to this dude. Yes. Now he is seriously fucking wounded, man. You hear a like, fucking crack, like a series of five cracks as his vertebra just fucking I, shatter. I love, I love how we, Tina has no, nothing for him. Like, like compared less to like the last episode where you're just like, you're like kind of entertaining this guy, sweet talking, and like now you're just fucking this guy up. Well, if you remember, Tina wasn't that into Tyrant during the meet and greet. Like she was just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Like quit. It's true, but damn, she's She's as cold as ice. She was preoccupied Look, by trying to win John over, and now it's down to this guy Tina or John. would totally take this guy into the next episode, if there is a next episode at this point. But, like, right now, her main concern is John. I love how, because they're, they're two crazy trolls, like, even if he was somehow survived, like, he'd probably be fine. He'd be like, Good, she's a strong woman. Like, like it doesn't matter. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking trolls. There's a respect there. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. It is now Tyrant's turn. And he's in a fucking spine bar right now. It'd be funny if this is a troll yeah, mating ritual that I'm not aware of. <laughs> and like, and like they actually wind up advancing to the next stage. Tina gets pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I wanted to go with season two, but I got shut down. So just... Two runners and a baby. So we're going to do something a little different here. It's down to the fucking wire now, okay? We're all going to roll reaction. Okay. Okay. T- Tyrant's trying to... Gra- he's got you on his back. You've got your fucking arms wrapped around his neck and your thighs crushing on his throat. He's trying to grab onto the ladder to pull you up with him. Fuck. He grabs onto the chains and now he's going to try to pull himself up. Everyone's going to be able to ra- react here to see how they do. Reaction. Target reaction. number is going to be four plus your damage modifier. So add your damage modifier to it. If you got a okay. two, add a two. So... Six for John, six for Tina, seven for Tyrant. Zero successes. I got one six. Any sixes? None. Tina, you get to, he tries to move for this fucking ladder. What do you do? Tina clenches up tighter on that fucking vertebra bar and just fucking tries to finish off that spine and snap it in half. Oh, cold as ice. All right, roll me your unarmed. Unarmed of three. Target number six. And I don't have new combat dice, right? Nope. Shit. Shit. All right, here it comes. Three dice. Ah, a three, a one, and a two. He got one. He grabs on Tina and he fucking throws her legs off and knocks her down on the floor. Fuck, dude. This is crazy, dude. This is insane. the crowd. Dude, like I don't. I, the, just, the crowd is going, oh, like this dude is still alive and he just knocked Tina off of his back. Fucking tyrant, dude. <laughs> 
Now it's John's turn. Okay. He's trying to grab onto these chains and pull himself up. He's really fucked up, though. He's almost dead. Take his fucking head off, John. Well, I'd love to. Let's fucking do it. How many combat dice do you have? None left, I don't think. So you can roll your Aikido. Seven dice. Target number is going to be five because Tina's there. Great. Five for John. Tina's just like out of breath on the ground below (laughs) time. Seven, eight. (laughs) She can't catch her breath. Target number eight. Two successes. He got one success, so you still got him. Fucking troll, dude. Take this fucking troll out, John. Aikido magic. He got one success. Still, you still get to do your full fucking moderate wound on his ass, and that is going to kill him. What do you do to kill him, John? That's going to be enough. What do I do to kill him? Yeah. I mean, John's just going to keep climbing that fucking ladder. He climbs over him, and he just boots him. You kick him in the face. As you climb up this ladder, you just kick off of him, and it kicks him right in the... His nose is already broken. His fucking larynx is, like, crushed. You kick him in the face, and it just knocks him out like a switch. He's just unconscious. And he just free falls backwards and smashes down on this fucking platform. John, you're able to climb up into the fucking next tower. Tina catches her breath. <laughs> and she rolls over and she sees Tyrant just like... His eyes are like rolled up in his head. He's like he's like unconscious. He's not dead, but he's like knocked out. She just reaches her hand out and covers his mouth <laughs> and gives him a slow merciful death and suffocates him to death. And a tear just drops down her, her cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking it'd be great if Tina like stepped onto the first rung of the ladder and the fucking floor just fell. That's what I was gonna do. That's what I was gonna do, actually. And as she as she fucking she like snuffs out the last like twitch of his heartbeat. She sulks up to her feet with the crowd fucking raging below and she goes over to that ladder. She looks up above and sees John John's shadow above and she just she knows she has to go up, but she doesn't know what's next. And she starts climbing that ladder. Nice, man. You climb into the next fucking tier. That bottom tier drops, fucking falls down and smashes. Like Fuck. fucking, he's done, dead. Everyone in there is dead. It's just John and Tina. Everyone, the crowd is going fucking crazy. And the announcer's going, The two newcomers are the last two in the Octagon Battle Royale. And the crowd's going fucking crazy. And they're going, John, and they're saying, uh, John. John. <laughs> There's no health packs. You guys both have a moderate wound. He says, we're down to the wire, folks. Only one can emerge as an octagon champion. Roll me initiative. Tina looks over at John. She's still got her sap in one hand and her knife in the other. And she's got a moderate wound. She's fucking sweating. You've never seen Tina this tired before. She's fucking emotionally exhausted, physically exhausted. And she makes eye contact with John. And she drops the sap and she drops the knife. And she just looks at him. 19 initiative. (laughs) You're not rolling initiative. Tina didn't roll initiative. Tina didn't roll initiative. What are you doing, John? I mean, what can I do? What can I? Take everything into account here. Tina fucking fucked up a run that almost got you killed. Almost got everyone killed. To save someone that you thought you both agreed or you wanted to kill to make the money. Right? Yes. You haven't talked in two fucking months. Yeah. You show up tonight, you spend some money, and now you're in this fucking thing. You guys did fucking team up down there, but now only one of these people can emerge. Fuck. I, I don't know. I mean, I have. I, I, okay. I have to fight Tina. We're fucking fighting. We're having this out. I'm not, I'm not going to kill Tina, but we're having this fight. Is John still pissed? John's not pissed, but he's like, we need to fight this so- out, Tina. <laughs> we, both, we both have some anger. We both have some anger. This, this is gonna- The whole arena quiets down. It's just fucking pen drop. Everyone, you can hear. Every- everything's quiet. We need to get this anger out. Everyone can hear what you're saying, John. What are you saying to Tina? <laughs> we need to get this anger out, Tina. Tina just, she looks at John. She says, John, I'm not angry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgive you. Forgive me for what? What the fuck are you talking about? You fucking <laughs> killed that guy. You killed them. You killed the whole team. You turned on us. John, none of these people know our story. But if there's one thing you taught me, is that you gotta follow your heart, John. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you save her? Why'd you, why was it worth fucking over me to save Jessica? I don't get it. I don't get it. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm just gonna run at you. We're fighting. We're gonna get in a fight. Oh shit! We're getting in a fight. <laughs> roll me initiative, Tina. You're gonna fight. Tina didn't roll. 
What are you doing, John? Are you going for it, John? Are you pissed? She's not making a move. Non-lethal damage. I think I think it's funny if John's just like, put your hands up. Yeah. Put them up. Exactly. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Bomeo. Fuck yes, finally. Tina rolls a six plus a four, which doesn't fucking matter because it's only a ten versus John's probably eighteen or some fucking shit. Nineteen. Minus two. So ten <laughs> minus two is eight. John's nineteen minus two <laughs> is seventeen. Uh. John, so yeah, Tina, you reluctantly put your fucking fisticuffs up and John's already fucking moving. Alright, so seven, seven versus one target number. You have like all your combat dice too, by the way. Just yeah, I'm rolling all my combat dice. Twelve. <sighs> Twelve. Kill me, dude. This is non-lethal. Non-lethal. Target number is six. I'm gonna slap Tina right in the face as hard as I can <laughs> like the... Like, oh, zero successes! Oh. Tina, roll me your fucking... <laughs> You're, uh, uh, I guess it'd be your John's unarmed. gonna get his unarmed. ass kicked. Uh, Tina rolls an unarmed. Target number is six. Plus your combat dice if you want to add them. I'm gonna add them all. Six dice total. Target number is gonna be five because Tina's got actually, and we forgot this this whole time. I'm sorry. Tina has a reach of one. Oh, that's right. She's got long fucking arms. I got one, two sixes, and a five. Great. Three successes. So, John, you fucking run at Tina, and she's got the long fucking arm. What do you do, John? You, what are you doing? Like a flying, like, like, I, know, kick? I was going like, to go slap you in the face. Power slap. Tina just, like, fucking catches your fucking hand right in front of her face and just, like, crushes it down. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh shit! shit. Like actually crushing it? Like like breaking the bones. I'm breaking the bones in your hand. Fuck you. Oh shit. Fuck you, Dan. Body dice. <laughs> <laughs> John's hands, bones are cru the whole auditorium can just hear the fucking bones crunch. And just John's like, <laughs> ah! oh, I'm, oh, okay. John's pissed now. What am I right. doing now? John, roll your body. My body. Your body dice. Target number is going to be Tina's. Let's get dark, man. Let's get fucking dark. We can do this. Yeah, we're getting dark. We can do this. Tina's strength of 10. What? Five dice, target number 10. Well, it's four dice, actually. Your body's five, right? That's four. Oh, it is. Uh, obviously, I had no successes. No successes. Tina pulls off a fucking moderate wound on you, just smashes your hand. You now have a serious wound, John. Shit. Wait, I thought. Oh, wait, no, that's not. That's, no, you don't. No, you don't. You have a. You're still moderately wounded. You're still moderately wounded. Because it's non lethal, right? It still, I yeah, guess, can but fuck you up. It's compounded. Okay, yeah. Okay. It is now Tina's turn. You have his hand. <laughs> yeah. And she just says, I don't want to hurt you, John. I don't want to do any of this. This is all just some fucking raffle from fucking. <laughs> from fucking Rory. He should be in here right now. But it's you and me. You're, I'm sorry, Tina. <laughs> you can hear him? <laughs> you hear him scream from way down there. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> How do we get out of this, John? Is it my turn again? <laughs> <laughs> Dandy, for, are you are you gonna attack? I'm attacking her. I'm slapping her with my other hand. I'm slapping her. I'm gonna be like, this isn't just a fucking raffle. You fucked me, Tina. No, it's it's Tina's turn, so she's got your hand. I just I was given a little bit of just a little bit of you know exposition yeah, of there. Of course, of course. Like I I I crushed down John's hand. She's got all the power. She wants to try to take that flappy hand. <laughs> just gonna <laughs> throw it back into John's face and make it slap him in the oh, face. Oh, embarrass him. Uh, All right. We'll do a throw weapons. Fucking, <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> Throwing weapons. He is a proud fucking troll. Fucking troll. Throwing weapons of three. She got a six, a four, and a four. So you got one success. So John, roll your fucking Aikido skill. Seven dice. Target number six. Jesus Christ. One success, Tina, you succeed. You throw it right in his fucking face. Oh. I'm going to say it's like a light wound. It's, it's not even him. a light wound. It's like a okay. broken fucking hand slapping him in the face. It's more it's embarrassing like than anything. Yeah. Oh. It's John's turn. John. John just got fucking embarrassingly thrown your fucking flappy hand right back in your face. Okay, John's going to fucking... Okay, I, I won't tell you what it is until I succeed. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Roll your keto, and target number is going to be six. Come on, motherfucker. What'd you get? Two successes. Two successes. Two successes. Tina, you get to roll your unarmed. Unarmed, three dice. Three dice. Target number is going to be five. I got a five and a six. Two successes. John still pulls off his attack. Fuck. Strength. John's gonna kick her right in the crotch. She embarrassed him. <laughs> he's, <laughs> fucking, he's fucking kicking her right in the crotch. There we go. 
<laughs> she embarrassed him. He's, he's going to embarrass her. It's going to be a high fucking John Claude Van Damme, like, high kick. Tina's tall. Yeah. Exactly. Roll your body versus target number five, Tina. Uh, body, ten dice versus target five. You got enough dice. For this is people. awesome. The crowd's just going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like they're all like reacting to all that, these is moves. Is that fight scene where nobody's playing defense anymore? It's just punches. It's just oh, yeah. exchanging fucking blows to the chin <laughs> at this point. What's my target? Five. Five. I got one, two, three sixes and nothing else. All right. You stage it down to a light wound, but still. You you move your crotch back just enough, but the toe still fucking gets you right. The fucking <laughs> <Nice. laughs> <laughs> Right in the gooch. Yes. All right. Roll initiative again. My God. Nine minus two is seven. 17. Minus two. 15. You yeah, know, 15. What's the fucking point? Yeah. John, you got all your combat dice back. I'm just going to slap her with that free hand. I'm slapping. Hikido plus your combat dice. Whatever you want to do. 12. 12. Yeah, fuck. Target number is going to be six. Okay. Tina, your target number is going to be five. You can use your unarmed. Unarmed. Four successes. And combat dice if you want. I got want. one five. Four successes. Dude, John, just five. fucking three net successes. Power, Power slap. Like all of his body behind this slap, just like a <laughs> <laughs> your face. My God. You get to use your body to bring it down. Yes. Target number is his strength, which is five. Body of 10 versus... Versus 5. I got one success. He stages it up, so a serious wound. Like, smacked you fucking hard. Where are you at, Tina? You're Fuck a moderate? It. Well, I didn't have any stun, but I had a uh, one past a moderate on physical. If you reach maximum, you get knocked out. Yeah. So, Tina, you're at a serious wound. And you see stars. John rocks your fucking face so hard. <laughs> Fuck. You haven't felt this since when Uncle Mel got mad at you when you were a little girl. Like, God damn. <laughs> like a troll slap. <laughs> Ugh. And you're just like fucking, the whole place is spinning, but you're still conscious. You can still see. John, John's just going to collapse to the ground, like clutching his hand, be like, fuck you, Bomeal. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> the whole crowd goes, oh. <laughs> and Tina, just as she's dizzy, swaying back and forth, just says, yeah. And she doesn't even know what's going to happen. She just knows she's dead or alive or what's going on at this point. She says, you stay alive, John. You stay alive. You're staying alive. I'm not going without you, Bone Meal. I'm clutching my hand. And they'll uh, have to kill us both. They'll have to fucking kill us both. Tina, the proud troll she is and realizing what the fuck's going on right now, takes one last bitch slap swing at John's face. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I feel like you both are like leaning against the chain link, like to get away from each other. She just like steps forward, and tries to slap him. Like you're both so exhausted. It's just like unarmed combat. Here it comes. Unarmed combat. Target number is going to be three dice. Do I have to take into effect my damage or not? Yep. Seven. So the target number is six now. Target number six. Three dice. One six. One six. Wow. John, roll your Aikido. Oh my God. What an exhausting. My Aikido. Yep. Target number is going to be six as well. I'm not going to make it. Two. Two, two successes. Two successes. How many did you get? I got one. I rolled one six. John, she fucking slaps at can you. I roll, can I roll her like an Aikido roll? Like like just deflect? <laughs> yeah. I'm deflecting her to the ground. I'm doing a classic Aikido slap <laughs> you to the ground. <laughs> I love it. One humiliation for the other. And usually what, he, what uh, Seagal does is he like grabs someone's arm and he like flips them. Yeah. They, like, they do like a front flip and hit their back on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> he like throws their arm into their own stomach. Yeah. And they like yeah, exactly. flip over. It. Exactly, and just front flips you. John does a physically unimaginable feat where, like, all 500 pounds of Tina just flips over herself. Well, because I'm using your energy. I'm using all your energy against you. That's that's what it is. Yes. I'm using no effort. It's all it's all your steamrolling. <laughs> this is beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Tina, roll me 10 dice. Your body. <laughs> My God. Target number is going to be five. <laughs> Hold on. Ten dice. I like how we both got our licks. Like, John got to look fucking cool. <laughs> like, using his karate, like, Aikido moves. But, like, you crushed my fucking hand. And slap me with it. Here it comes. Ten dice. Oh, my God. One, two, three fives. So you stage it down to a light wound, and you are still barely conscious, dude. You have one pip left for your knocked out. Tina's, you fall down, your whole weight smacks into the fucking floor of this cage, and it rattles and moves around. You guys kind of try to stand up, but Tina, you're flat on your back. The wind gets knocked out of you. <sighs> you're barely conscious at this point, and it's John's turn. Fuck. John's just going to turn up to the crowd to be like, I'm done. Fuck this. I'm done. 
And the whole crowd just quiet, gasps across the crowd. It's the most quiet the Redmond Barons has ever been. And the announcer says, what's this? It looks like our two contestants are throwing in the towel. And the crowd's hissing and booing. Oh, no, fuck you, finish her. Finish her, I'll screw Finish her, finish her, finish her. Finish her. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you all. <laughs> And you just hear the crowd just like fucking utter disappointment. They're just, they're all pissed now. They're all getting unruly. They're throwing shit at the fucking cages and shit. And then it's going, no, no, calm down. And what I, you know, this is still a pretty amazing bet. And they're all running up over the cages that have shattered down on the ground. They're running up over it and they're throwing shit at the cages. Fuck. And you see it. He's saying, all right, get, get them out of there. And you hear the fucking, the cage start to get lifted back up into the building above. And he's saying, don't worry, everybody. We'll, we, we still have plenty of exciting things to do for runner fans. We're not, we'll figure something out here. And you get lifted back up into the building and the runners that ushered you in there before look at the two of you. I mean, John, you're bleeding out your fucking leg and you're out of your arm from the bites from hellhounds you fucking your right hand is just fucking limp like <laughs> fucking dough yeah <laughs> you got a fucking t-rex arm <laughs> tina john's like pulling you along you can barely even see straight and you pull into the thing and you see millie and rory there everyone's sitting here going wow we fucked up runner fest nice work and then really he's like let him get the fuck out of here john tina go over here i'm gonna spit blood in rory's face <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tina's like, I'm so sorry. As he opens his mouth, your blood goes in his mouth. He's like, Ugh. I get wretches and gags. You fucking idiot, Rory. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he's trying to help, and you guys walk down to this building. And Tina's just like, at this point, barely conscious. She should still be like, like hanging on. You're walking out of this building, and, and you're walking now through the crowd of Runner Fest. And Millie's just trying to get you guys out. Everyone's pissed. Every single runner there is fucking yelling at you. And there's Fuck. there's guards and stuff trying to keep people away. And they like, know who we are and shit now? They saw you. They know you're the two fucking contestants. Everybody fucking hates us in the runner world now? <laughs> God They're throwing damn. shit. They're throwing shit. Run his, Millie's going, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck, get the fuck away from me. He's fighting people off. He's he's trying to fight people off. Rory's going, yeah, get the fuck away. Come on. You didn't want to fight. It's all right. And he's trying to push people away. I'm real sorry. I'm, I'm fucking sorry. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do it. I did it. What? You guys make it to the middle of this room and there's a clearing and there's a person standing there looking at you. And you recognize her. Yeah. And it's Deadbolt. Oh! I should have known you wouldn't have killed her. I should have fucking known that you wouldn't have killed her. But it was still fun to watch. Fucking Deadbolt rigged it? And Millie's going, who the fuck are you? And she's just kind of looking at you, John and Tina. What am I... Are we supposed to... I'm just exhausted. And she goes, that's right. I fucking saw you throw the fire extinguisher to save Jessica. Fuck. You think I didn't fucking see that? I was looking through all the fucking cameras. I saw you save Jessica. You fucked that run up. I don't know how you got skunk to turn on us, but I told Sovereign not to trust his ass, so that's on her. Shit. You're not leaving here until you pay me the fucking New Year I lost on that gig. Because if you don't... And a fucking gunshot goes on. You see her face get pushed through a fucking hole in her fucking nose and blown out the back of her fucking head. Oh my god. Fuck yes. And you see Rory holding a fucking Aries Predator in her face. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Rory. What the fuck? Rory, what the fuck are you doing? Tina's just standing there catatonic at this point. Just like almost out of it. And he turns to Tina and goes, I didn't like her. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for listening to Pink Fohawk. You can check out new episodes every two weeks. Until then, we'd be hugely thankful if everyone listening could post about our podcast on Reddit or Twitter or leave a review on Podchaser or Apple Podcasts or even just share our show with a couple of friends. That'd be awesome. Thanks again for giving us your time. It's the most precious commodity any person has. Pink Fohawk theme created by Colin Rufino. You can find links to his website in the description below along with credits for other songs used in this episode. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next time. And she takes the dog that, whose jaw just broke, and she turns it around. And I she, like to, she, and she's like, she's like, I put my fist right up the dog's ass, and I use it as a fucking, <laughs> fucking, it's like a hand cannon, like fucking firing, like she's like pulling on it's like whatever fire organ. <laughs> Dude, this hand cannon. <laughs> is nobody left but me and Tyrant? I love how PETA, yeah. I love how PETA is going to get us. That's what's going to shut us down. <laughs> my meaty troll finger milks its fucking prostate. <laughs> And it exactly. shoots fire. It's fire organ. I made that up. It's got a fire organ. <laughs> the brown note. It all comes back. Fire gland. <laughs> <laughs>